Okay, my outstanding friends, a great day today. I am about to send a postcard, a Christmas card, to Ingenuity, who is up on Mars. And I'm going to send it to the Ingenuity Mars helicopter. And my message is, Mars is covered with remains of creatures, and Mud Fossil University on YouTube has the details. Here's the details that they are missing up on Mars, and I've been studying this since 2014 when the Curiosity rover went up there and discovered the Mars crab, the Mars blueberries, the Mars Morse code, all biology. Let's take a look. Okay, this is one of the things that is biology, is the Mars crab. That's the Mars crab. That's a, a vein. That's an artery. This is all what they call muscle sarcomeres with all these blocks in them, connective tissue. And all the gooey stuff has just eroded away and just fallen out as dust. And here's what sarcomeres actually do look like. <laughs> there it is right there. That's what's up on Mars, and that was at the Mars crab. The Mars crab is feeding all of these muscle sarcomeres with blood. So there's one thing that's up there that's true. Now, and um, I show Petra basically is the same thing. These are sarcomeres at Petra, virtually identical. No, well, they are identical. There's no difference whatsoever. And inside is all biology in Petra. And here's Petra from a long distance away. And these are nothing but muscle sarcomeres. All right, and here it is from a very long distance away. Hold on. <laughs> there it is right there. These are all muscle sarcomeres, just like up on Mars. And they carve Petra into the artery. It's just nothing but a big bunch of blood, like a blood clot. <laughs> and all the rest is nothing but biology. This is a piece of petrified muscle I have here. That's the muscle, that's the tendon. This is the blood, just like up on Mars. The crab, the legs of the crab have eroded away on mine, but up there the legs are sticking out, which are nothing more than blood vessels that service the blood. This was the bone, and that is the tendon. The bone is missing off this piece, of, off this picture. But this is the tendon coming right off of there into the muscle. Exactly identical to what's up on Mars. No difference. Alright, this is the Mars Morse code. This is nothing more than interstitium that is the same as skin and this is pinched skin, pinched skin, stretched skin, stretched skin. The balls are extremely tough and the straps are not as tough and the fleshy part just erodes away. This is nothing more than virtually sandblasted, uh, you know, skin. And the balls are the interstitium balls that hold the little straps in place. Absolutely gigantic. Same thing as on Earth. I showed you Petra. <laughs> it's, it's the same thing. The Earth was a gigantic creature at one time. All right, I'm just going to let this play. This was from my video that I did about Mars and part of my uh, message to, to uh, NASA about Mars. And they should look at this. This is biology. And they're just saying, oh, we're always looking for biology, looking for biology. They just miss it. It's everything that's in front of their faces. Listen to this. And it's just eroding away. It shows that Mars is just an extremely dry place. There's no place on Earth that you can do, see this or any of these other features because of erosion. There's too much water on Earth. So this is absolutely 100% certain. This is Mars in my estimation. There's no question whatsoever. You can't get this kind of a dusty, dry surface without some kind of rivulets or some kind of erosion. Some the, so I'm going with Mars for sure because there is, oh, I know this is Mars. Well, I know it's Mars. Now, remember I said these little blueberries are the same thing as the Moki marbles, which are these, which are the same thing as these. And let's go up to Mars. And they are here, right there, the Moki, these, they call these the blueberries. This is the basement layer. It's exactly the same as out in uh, Arizona and Utah, where they have a basement layer and they have the same balls. And these are like mineral dents. They're, they're some are like metals. It depends how they how they preserved. 
because everything is dependent upon the conditions and what kind of if it was pH, the acid, the salts, how long it was there, how hot it was boiled in that area, how deep the water was, how flowing it was, was there a lot of transition metals in there. When you see all these colors and these... All right, that's enough for now. I mean, I've shown this over and over and over and over. If they just continue to just ignore reality, it's a disgrace. I can't believe this has gone on this long. This is from 2014. It's almost 10 years. It's almost 10 years laying in their face. I've been pushing it in everybody's face for a minimum of the last eight years. Since, since I started this, eight, nine years. And not a single, not one single reply, zero, not one, from any of the authorities on this. None from NASA, JPL, European Space Agency, none of them. I've contacted all of them over and over and over and over. They don't care about truth.